Hi, and welcome to Timber Doodle's fifth grade 2021 curriculum kit video. This is Grace and I'm Hope, and we're here today to walk you through um, what's included in the Elite Kit, a little bit about why we chose it and what, it, what each product looked like. So let's get started. Okay, so the first component in language arts is going to be Mazdas, and that's going to take your student through some classic and some contemporary works. It's basically a book full of different stories, different contributions, um, all put together for your student. They're, they're wonderfully wholesome and encourage caring about people, caring about the world. Um, and then you're going to have your student activity workbook, as well as the teacher's books that go along with it. So this is somewhat optional. If you have a reluctant writer, um, you can just work from the reading portion. If you have a student that you have the time or they have the interest, and the, yeah, then go deeper with them, put all the rest of this into play, and really get a great year of writing out of this. Yes. Next we have the Spelling You See Ancient Achievements book. And in this book, your child will be learning spelling through visual memory. Um, spelling You See tackles spelling with chunking of words to help your child recognize those um, unique letter combinations in the English language. It also works through dictation and copy work to help your child's brain um, remember it within a meaningful context. So that is the spelling you see for this grade. Okay, so then we have writing. In the classic version, the religious version, you're going to have jump in, which is, it, it is a one-year course, but again, if you're working with a student that writing is really a struggle for them, they have the uh, lesson plan in here to turn this into a, a, a two-year, three-year, or a four-year course to drag it out as long as you need. Um, the, the goal of this is that if you have a student that writing is scary or overwhelming to them, it's going to be a lot easier and not scary once they get through this. It's going to take them step by step through a number of different daily lessons. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be daily, but to get writing to be something that they can do. Yes. And then for the non-religious kit, we have the six traits of writing, which is 15 minutes a day, takes your child through the six parts of writing, um, and will get your child to be a competent writer by the end of the year. Next we have Doodle Definition, which is a visual vocabulary. It's a Timber Doodle exclusive, so we're really excited about this. Basically, they'll give your child a word, ominous, give the um, description, uh, giving a sense of impending doom, and then give you the illustration that your child will uh, replicate in the box so that they will have their own visual memory of what this word is and what it means, or quagmire, a muddy or sticky situation difficult to get out of. And again, the step-by-step -step step -step instructions on how to draw that illustration so that they have a visual memory of those words. And last but not least is Show Me How to Survive, which not only is it a fun book that takes you through, I think it's uh, over a hundred different situations of how to survive these situations, all different types, but this can be the jumping off part for your writing assignments. So if they're struggling to, with a writing assignment, how to creatively, creatively write, then this can be the, what will inspire them. How would you prepare for social collapse or how would you break out of a bear hug? This is a great way to inspire them to write from a different angle. Okay, then for math, we have Matthew C. Epsilon. So in this grade, they are covering fractions. You get your teacher's manual, your student workbook, your tests. And again, this program is a hands-on program. You also have the manipulatives for the fraction overlays. I should show that to you, included with the kit. Um, and basically, this, this kit will help your child, whether they are an auditory, visual, or hands-on learner, which can be very hard for your child to see physically what these mathematical concepts actually mean. So, Matthew C. has laid out the program very um, systematically so that your child can go through the worksheets each week. They have a number of worksheets, so if, if, you're, if math is a hard concept for your child, then you're going to want to go through all the worksheets. If it's something they master quickly, then you could go just through the ones that are applicable to that week and then move on with your life. Also have the DVD instruction, which is huge for you as a parent as the grades continue, uh, as your child continues to progress through the grades and maybe you've forgotten some more and more of the math. You don't have to worry about that. It's all included in the DVD. Also, you're going to want to make sure and have your child take the placement test before you purchase the curriculum because if they are testing above or below grade level, you're going to want to know that before you purchase and then have to do an exchange. Just customize it at time of purchase. Okay, then the extreme dot to dots is going to work on mapping and concentration. Your child is going to be doing dot to dots with over 1,400 dots, um, creating scenes that they don't know what they are finishing until it's completed. So um, a great way to unwind and also work on concentration at the same time. All right, let's talk critical thinking. So 
To create excellence in thinking in our students, we need to engage both their logical and their imaginative thinking. And this critical and creative is going to give you a, a wonderful way to do that um, fairly succinctly. So it's going to give a number of different activities. Each time it's going to be a little bit different. Word searches, um, question answers, a lot of things for your students to do that's going to work on engaging both sides of the brain. Great. Do you want to talk to us about cat crimes? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be your single player game for your student. This is working on logical deduction, and it's a, if you've ever done like the mind benders, th this is a lot like that. So it's going to give you um, a game board, you set it up, and then you read the clues on these cards, and they work from beginner to advanced, some really tricky ones, and you're going to use deduction to figure out who the guilty party is. So Sassy's sitting in front of a bell ball and a paw print. Duchess is sitting in front of a sock. Ginger's sitting across from Mr. Mr. Mittens. And you line them all up, you figure them out, and then you use, okay, who, who could it have been? And you figure that out. So Great. And kid, kids love the cat theme. So it's, it's This has been happen. a very popular game. Everybody is really enjoying it. For the two-player game this year, we have Genius Star. And if you don't know why we include two-player games in our curriculum, you should go back and watch the video. Um, there's some thought behind that that it would be good for you to know. But the Genius Star is the game for this year. That being said, it can be used as a single player also. I love this game because uh, uh, from the 165,888 possible game board layouts, every single one has a solution. So you'll never exhaust, unless you are really enthusiastic, you will not exhaust this game board during your school year. So the gameplay is you roll the dice, they tell you what number to place the stars on, and each player has to fit all their pieces in the, on the board and be the first one to do so. Or if you're a single player, it's just the, the, mind, the visual perception and the mind challenge to do it yourself to figure out the spatial reasoning of your own board. So either way, it's a great game. All right, let's take a look at history. So this year for history, we have America the Beautiful. It is currently undergoing a massive reprint. And so it's actually not available right now. It will be later this year. It's a wonderful program, but right now we're gonna substitute from Adam to us. Both programs are very similar in the content. It's all from a religious perspective. Um, it's just gonna be a different emphasis. So we've got world history and we've got American history. And then once um, America the Beautiful is back in print, it'll be the default. But again, if you'd rather do from Adam to us, we'll still have that available so you can customize this out. What we love about this program is not only is it gorgeous in its presentation, wonderful pictures, engaging text, but it's also got a great layout. So every week they're going to do a story about, they're gonna do a chapter on our story, which is a lesson about major events in the time period. Then they're gonna do a lesson about God's wonders. So that's gonna be a lesson describing an amazing creation God placed in that location that they're studying. They're gonna do a lesson on a landmark. They're gonna do a lesson on a biography, which is a lesson about a person who lived during the time period that you're studying. And then they're gonna do a daily life lesson, which is detailing how certain people lived and worked during that time period. It's just a really rich history program. And if you want to go deeper with it, it's going to have writing assignments and whatnot. You can make this as big a program as you want or pair it back for your student and just do the reading portion and enjoy this look at history. Yes, and then for the non-religious kits, we have A History of Us. This is a five-book series. Um, the first in the series, the first five books in the series, the rest of them finished out in sixth grade. Um, and what we love about this series is it also is in, an engaging look at history, um, encourages critical thinking about events past and present. Uh, what I particularly enjoy are all the true life photographs, um, copies of receipts or um, documents from that time. When we first got this to preview, I approached it with some trepidation and skepticism because frankly, I find most historical texts to be unengaging and difficult to assimilate. Um, not so this. The text is very engaging. They, they tell you little asides like uh, poems from the time during the gold rush. There's one, oh Sally, dearest Sally, oh Sally, for your sake, I'll go to California and try to raise a stake. Or they'll show you pictures of real gold miners and say that sometimes the 49ers, young and old, being photographed with the miners tools of the trade became a popular fad. Some had themselves snapped without ever setting foot in a mine. So just interesting little asides that really pull you in and then the text itself is engaging, um, which will help your child not only to learn it, but also to retain it. Last in the history category, we have amazing World War II stories. And these are stories of the unsung heroes you may never have heard about, stories of the women who performed bombings, nighttime bombings in dilapidated aircraft. Stories about the lone soldier, her soldier who is known to be unbreakable. Um, and again, all told in the engaging graphic novel format. Your child will learn a lot about history from these true stories. 
For geography, we have skill sharpeners geography, which will give your child an overview on maps and geographical concepts, colorful format, fill in the blank. You'll learn a lot about different aspects of geography. Okay, to round that out, we have Draw the USA. And this is just a fantastic way to build your memory and your understanding of the shapes of the United States. And it's when you draw something out, you really start paying attention to the shape and the, where it is and how it all connects. So this is really going to help your student. And last, we have the Scrunch Map. USA. So if that was not enough, drawing it and studying it, now you get to see it in map form. Um, with this Tyvek type material, um, we've had many of you parents say, man, that was the, the most sturdy map I have ever experienced. I don't have to worry about my toddler dancing over. I don't have to worry about it going outside in, in their explorations. This map does live up to its name. It is a perfect scrunch map and will be the perfect reference point for your child throughout the school year. For science this year, in the classic kit, we have Berean Science in the Industrial Age. And as in the other Berean Science series, each book covers um, science through a time period and let you, exposes you to what the scientists were discovering during that time, what was faulty about, what their assumptions were, and what is still true today. Um, it's What we love about Berean Science is it has colorful illustrations, short lessons with engaging text, and lots of um, experiments and activities. So <clears throat> for your hands-on learner, this is the science program that will really appeal to them. All comes from a biblical perspective. Um, you also have the helps and answers and the student notebooks. So you can make sure they're retaining what they are hearing in the student textbook. If you buy the elite kit, it comes with the lab kit, which will include most of the ingredients that you'll need for most of your experiments. So parents have found that to be a very helpful addition. For the non-religious kits, we have the Billion Blocks of Science, which is going to be studying a number of different scientific aspects. And it's a wonderful, colorful text. And then you've got the activities to go with it. Again, in the Elite, we've got the lab kit that's going to help do the activities for you. Um, this is just going to be a great systematic, spiraling science course for your students. Yes, and then lastly we have the Dr. Bonafide. This one is book three in the series where your student will be learning the bones of the rib cage and spine. And again, students have found these very engaging, um, some graphic novel type format in there, some story format. Um, just again, really pulls the kids in and gives them a thorough overview, kind of the health aspect to your science curriculum. Okay, so for STEM, we have Code Rocket, which is a wonderful set to introduce someone who's never done any coding or a beginning coder to how to code, how to edit code, how to execute code. The younger your kids start to learn how to code, the easier it is for them to use it in the real life. So I can't tell you how many times we've needed to use code in projects here at Timberdoodle. Getting your students started early is going to help them on their career path. Um, and this is a really fun, engaging way to do it. It's got online videos that walk you through the lessons. It's You don't have to have any experience to teach this. Comes with a rocket for you to start yep, coding. Yep. Okay. okay, so next we have stop motion animation. This is going to help you not only with a STEM skill of working through, like how do you tell a story, the, the tech components of telling that story, and the art components of telling that story. It also is going to help you work on, if you, if you want to do that as part of your history, you can have your students work through a story from history, or if you want to do it as part of your language arts, have them write the story that they're going to do. So this has multiple uses. Um, it's a great program taking you from start to finish of how to animate anything. And then it has the software that goes with that. It has the software, the sound effects, the booklet, the yeah. camera, everything's all included for you to do your stop motion. And kind of going along with it, we have the Pixio cubes here. Now, these are magnetic cubes with six magnets in each little cube. And um, also it comes with an app that you can sign up for that will give you countless countless other 3D designs for your child to build and explore. Um, the thought behind the Pixio cubes is not only will it give your child some spatial reasoning skills, some critical, I mean, some spatial reasoning skills and some fine motor skills, um, it can also be used in conjunction with your stop motion as they become um, skilled in their stop motion skills and more progressed, then they can use these characters to start using the magnets to make your to make your character move and incrementally um, tell the stop motion story. So whether you're using it specifically only for the spatial reasoning and for the fine motor or whether you want to tie it in with your stop motion, both ways your child will be engaged with these cubes. For art, let's take a look at, first to add Doodle America. This is some divergent doodling and basically it takes you through a bunch of America topics um, go, corresponding along with your American history program. Um, 
you have a little bit of information, a little bit of creativity. Who's riding in the carriage? You can ride a horse-drawn carriage in Charleston, South Carolina, and then doodle George and Martha Washington. The Washingtons lived in Mount Vernon in North, Northern Virginia. So a little bit of information along with the artistic aspect, a little bit of direction, a little bit of creativity. Um, another one you'll say, decorate these drums. Okay, you, that is more, I get the divergent learning. You can do whatever kind of decorations you want. Next is the DiGeco scratch art, and this is kind of a Zentangle um, scratch art uh, kit. It gives you some directions, so it's not just scratch it all off. You actually follow the directions to come out with this pretty design at the end and along the space theme, um, a very relaxing and um, grounding activity. Lastly, we have the watercolor for young artists, which is going to take the student from start to finish, teaching them not just how to do a single painting, but it's going to do 13 fun projects. And through those projects is going to take, teach them the different skills and techniques of watercolor, how to build volume, how to blend. Um, and it's very well set up for a young artist who is just learning how to do this. The first two paintings are going to have the steps written right here, the painting already starting to be sketched. So that way they have an easy introduction and then they are ready to Jump okay. in and make some beautiful projects. Awesome. Let's take a look at learning helps. Okay, thinking putty. This is gonna be fantastic for the student that can't sit still, needs something to be doing with their hands while they're working, reading their history. Whatever it is that they're working through, they gotta keep their hands busy. This is gonna be a great way to do that. Um, and it's fun because it has all the different colors in there that they can combine together to create their custom and color. And glitter. <laughs> okay, next we have test prep. For grade five, this will prepare your child for a standardized state test if you're required to do it. And even if you're not required to do it, it can give you um, kind of the knowledge of where they're falling out on the state testing, where they fall on the state test. If there's any holes you need to fill in or if they're acing at all, um, give your child the practice to take a test because testing often comes with testing anxiety. So this can be a low stress, easy way to help them practice that skill. And last we have our handbook. This is an old copy because our 2021 is at the printers, but let me just walk you through what's in the handbook. There is a short summary of each product and why it is included, what we are anticipating for scheduling. There is a weekly checklist so that you can see at a glance, this is what we want you to do every week. There is a code to access our online scheduler so that you can customize your weekly schedule. Some people prefer it to be daily instead of weekly. That's fine. We prefer weekly. Some people prefer daily, whatever works best for you. Um, if you've customized your kit, it will allow you to customize what's on the list. It will allow you to add in extra things like let's make sure you learn how to cook one meal a week or whatever the extra tasks are that you want to make sure happen every week or day for your child. Um, and it also includes the reading challenge. And what the, you know you want your child to be reading, you know you want your child exposed to a wide variety of literature, but it can be difficult to figure out what that actually looks like practically. So we've given you a bunch of different categories of what your child can be reading. So let's take a look here. Um, read a book about summer, read a book about a building or architecture, read a book about siblings, and you think, okay, this is great. Yes, I want my child exposed to all those different kinds of literature, but what in the world qualifies? So then under each um, category, we've given you some suggestions. So um, if you're gonna read a book about uh, with a one word title, read Shiloh or Scout or Sounder by the authors. And so now you have, a go to the library, check these out, um, and expose your child to a wide variety of literature throughout the year. I think that sums it up. Um, if you want more in-depth information about any of these products, go to our website. Some of them have videos, we've got more pictures, we've got more information on our website. If you have questions, contact us. Um, but I just wanna say thanks for joining us and we're excited to launch this year's curriculum kit.